that the authority has exercised its prerogative and has held a street close. Therefore, the next item that we shall have is the final communication. Mais non de demander à son excellence le président Ouattara, président de la République de Côte d'Ivoire. Président Ouattara, c'est juste une question. Est-ce que le communiqué de Ouémoa ne sera pas lui ici ou sera juste au président de la African Union Excellence, mesdames et messieurs les chefs de délégation, excellence, mesdames et messieurs. Je m'adresse à vous, Excellence Monsieur le Président Bola Ahmed Tinou, pour vous féliciter chaleureusement pour la convocation rapide de ce sommet et vous remercier sincèrement, Excellence Monsieur le Chef d'État et du Gouvernement de la CDAO. L'extrême gravité de ce qui que nous ne serons être. Voici un pays confronté aux immenses défis de tous ordres, en pleine exécution, une alternance démocratique saluée unanimement à travers le continent et par un président démocratiquement élu, transparent et engagé, une crédibilité internationale qui lui ouvre les portes de toutes les institutions financières faites contre la République et contre la démocratie intervenue au Niger le 26 juillet 2023. ...de toute la région. Le caractère insensé de ce coup d'État, sa violation flagrante des principes de l'Union africaine et de la situation en dépend largement désormais, doivent également être écartés. Toutes les attitudes complaisantes ou hésitantes à l'égard de leurs auteurs, démocratiquement élus. L'idéal est d'obtenir ces deux changements ces deux exigences par la voie de la négociation, les discussions apaisées et respectueuses de la souveraineté, l'unité nationale continentale. Excellence, l'Union africaine apprécie hautement vos marches de recherche de la solidarité internationale avec la CDAO et l'Union africaine doit être rapidement développée. Monsieur Badanan Patoki, président de l'AMF UMOA émissaire du président de la République fédérale du Nigeria, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, en vue de... The summit, it is my honor now to call on His Excellency Bola Ahmed Tinubu. As we have in Nigeria, let me allow for and a very devoted member of this union. Great thanks to African Union and other international observers. We can't pretend that we did have the knowledge of what had happened and what is still happening. We have an ostrich situation, an interruption to properly elected government of Nigeria Republic. Your presence here reflects your commitment to democracy. I appreciate that. It is a very challenging time for us. And in this time, I will most demonstrate our commitment.
there can be no development. There can be no end to poverty. The danger to us right now is the fact that one of all His Excellency Ahmed Patsu is in host by his own army. He presents here. Whatever you and I resolve, we make or mar our democratic credentials. I want us to be strong, forceful, and resolute about the survivor. Basum, as well as the freedom and restoration of the constitutionally elected body in the J Republic. I want to say welcome. And thank you very much. But no more time for us to sign a warning signal. It's time for action. And we should walk our talks. Thank you very much. Welcome.
this extraordinary session. The authority of heads of state and government of the community of West African states met in an extraordinary session in Abuja, Nigeria on 30 July 2023 under the chairmanship of His Excellency Bola Ahmed Tinubu, President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and Chair of the ECOWAS Authority. The extraordinary summit was convened in response to the latest political development in the Republic of Niger. Present at the summit were the following heads of state and government and mandated representatives. His Excellency Pet President Patrice Talon, President of the Republic of Benin, his Excellency Alassane Ouattara, President of the Republic of Niger. His Excellency President Alassane Ouattara, President of the Republic of Côte d'Ivoire, I beg your pardon. His Excellency Adam Abaro, President of the Republic of the Gambia. His Excellency Nana Ado Dankwa Akufo Ado, President of the Republic of Ghana, His Excellency General Umaru Sisoko Mbalo, President of the Republic of Guinea-Bissau, His Excellency Bola Ahmed Tinubu, President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, His Excellency Maki Sal, President of the Republic of Senegal, His Excellency For Nyasimbe, President of the Togolese Republic, His Excellency, the representative of the President of the Republic of Capo Verde, His Excellency, the representative of the President of the Republic of Liberia, His Excellency, the representative of President Bazoum, President and Head of State of the Republic of Niger, His Excellency, the representative of President Madabio, Julius Madabio, President of the Republic of Sierra Leone. His Excellency Omar Ali Uture, President of the ECOWAS, attended the summit together with His Excellency Musa Faki Mohammed, Chairperson of the African Union Commission, His Excellency Leonardo Santos Simao, Special Representatives of the United Nations Secretary General for West Africa and the Sahel and Head of UNOWAS, and His Excellency Mr. Job, President of the Commission of UMOA. The authority, having received the memorandum of the President of the ECOWAS Commission on the Political Situation in the Republic of Niger, extensively discussed the latest developments in the Republic of Niger that have been marked by an attempted overthrow by members of the Presidential Guard of the Constitutional Order in the Republic of Niger and the illegal detention of the legitimate Head of State, His Excellency President Mohamed Bazou, as well as members of his family and government recalled with appreciation the immediate steps that His Excellency Bola Ahmed Tinubu, Chair of Authority, has taken in the form of statements, communiques, mission and consultations with regional, continental and world leaders. Taking cognizance of the condemnation of the attempted coup and the illegal detention of President Bazoum and members of his family and government by the neighboring countries, the African Union, United Nations, European Union, United States of America, China, Russia, La Francophonie, the Commonwealth, the OIC, and other partners. Recall the principle of zero tolerance for unconstitutional change of government as enshrined in the ECOWAS and African Union protocols and other instruments. Resolve 
as follows. One, His Excellency President Mohammed Bazoum remains the legitimate elected president and head of state of the Republic of Niger, recognized by ECOWAS, the African Union, and the international community. In this regard, only officials, official acts of President Bazoum or his duly mandated officials will be recognized by ECOWAS. Two, condemn in the strongest terms the attempted overthrow of constitutional order in Niger and the illegal detention of His Excellency President Mohamed Bazoum, President and Head of State of Niger, as well as members of his family and government. Call for the immediate release and reinstatement of President Mohamed Bazoum as President and Head of State of the Republic of Niger, and for the full restoration of constitutional order in the Republic of Niger. Reject any form of resignation that may purportedly, purportedly come from His Excellency President Mohamed Bazoum. Consider the illegal detention of President Bazoum as a hostage situation and hold the authors of the attempted coup d'etat solely and fully responsible for the safety and security of His Excellency President Mohamed Bazoum as well as members of his family and government. In the event the authorities' demands are not met within one week, take all measures necessary to restore constitutional order in the Republic of Niger. Such measures may include the use of force. To this effect, the chiefs, the chiefs of defense staff of ECOWAS are to meet immediately. Hold accountable all those responsible for violence and terror against lives and properties of innocent citizens and residents of Niger. Condemn the pronouncement of support by foreign governments and foreign private military contractors. Express appreciation to the various governments and partners for their stance and solidarity with ECOWAS. Appoint and dispatch a special representative of the chair of the authority to Niger immediately to deliver the demands of the authority. In the meantime, the following measures are to be applied with immediate effect. One, Closure of land and air borders between ECOWAS countries and Niger. Two, institution of ECOWAS no-fly zone on all commercial flights to and from Niger. Suspension of all commercial and financial transactions between ECOWAS member states and Niger. Freeze of freeze all service transactions including energy transactions. Freeze assets of the Republic of Niger in ECOWAS central banks. Freeze of assets of the Niger state and the state enterprises and parastatals in commercial banks. Suspension of Niger from all financial assistance and transactions with all financial institutions, particularly EBID and BOAD calls WAMU and all other regional bodies to implement this decision. Impose travel ban and asset freeze for the military officials involved in the coup attempt. The same applies to their family members and the civilians who accept to participate in any institutions or government established by these military officials. Express appreciation to His Excellency Bola Ahmed Tinubu, 
President and Head of State of the Federal Republic of Nigeria for the manner in which he has conducted the affairs of the community since his election as Chair of the ECOWAS Authority. This is the communique of this summit. I thank you for your attention. Much. Um, next, it should be a floor given to United Nations representatives to, for us to hear from him. Thank you. Attention of President Mohamed Bazoum and efforts to unconstitutionally change the legitimate government of the Republic of Niger, while expressing concern over the negative impact of unconstitutional change of government in the region, increase in terrorist activities and the dire socioeconomic situation. They also underscored the urgent need for the restoration of constitutional order in Niger in accordance with the ECOWAS protocol on democracy and good governance and express their support for regional and continental mediation efforts. Earlier this week, members of the Security Council had acknowledged that the withdrawal of MINUSMA from Mali is likely to have serious implications in the already concerning security situation in the region. In that regard, the Council commended efforts by ECOWAS, including during the 09 July ordinary sessions in Bissau, to explore ways of tackling the security challenges in the region. Confident that today's meeting will go a long way in charting the way forward on the regional and international response to the situation. The agencies, funds, and programs of the United Nations country team in Niger are present and continue to deliver much needed assistance to vulnerable populations. On behalf of the Secretary General, UNOAS and the entire United Nations system remain available to work closely with ECOWAS in the spirit of complementarity in support of the people of Niger and other countries in the region going through difficult times in the realization of their legitimate uh, aspiration. Thank you, Mr. Pre President. La conférence des chefs d'État et de gouvernement de la CDAO, réunie à Abuja le dimanche 30 juillet 2023, exprime leur profonde gratitude à Son Excellence Bola Ahmed Tinubu, président en exercice empêché. Était présent pour la République de Côte d'Ivoire, Son Excellence M. Alassane Ouattara, président de la République. Pour la République du Bénin, Son Excellence M. Patrice Talon, président de la République. Pour la République de Guinée-Bissau, Son Excellence M. Oumaro Sissoko Mbalo, président de la République. Pour la République du Sénégal, Son Excellence M. Macky Sall, président de la République. Pour la République togolaise, Son Excellence M. Faure, et Sosima Nyasingbe, président de la République, ont également pris part aux travaux de cette session. Monsieur Adama Koulibaly. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, as we come close to this extraordinary summit on the social political situation in the Republic of Niger, I send my heartfelt gratitude to each and every one of you for your active engagement in our closed door and open meeting. Your invaluable contributions to our discussions 
had got out this far. And hopefully, we will achieve our objective. The essence of African unity and solidarity is hereby reaffirmed. Our unwavering commitment to democracy, peace, and prosperity is here resolved. Throughout our de deliberation, we have recognized that the challenges faced by Niger are all interconnected with the broader issues affecting our region. As African leaders, it is our shared responsibility to foster stability and progress, placing the well-being of our people at the forefront of our endeavors and working together towards their prosperity and happiness must always constantly be our goal and consistently we will stand with our people and freedom and our commitment to the rule of law and not the barrel of gun. Africa has come of age who reject coup and interruption to constitutional order. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you.